Peace everyone. This is Jamal from JamalandKim.com as well as LifeStrengthAndHealth.com and today I just wanted to take a moment out to talk to you about reasons why people don't succeed. Reasons why people don't succeed with their health and reasons why people don't succeed in their business. Now usually I do separate videos but I feel that um, this is spot on for, for both areas so I just kind of wanted to merge the audiences and just give you this message and a lot of times I'll talk to people that aren't having success with their health and I'll ask well what are your health goals and then someone will say well you know I, I want to be healthy you know and then I'm and then I'm like well what kind of success have you had with that and then they say well I haven't had too much success and I'm like well how long have you been doing it I've been doing it for maybe a year or, or maybe longer sometimes and after really getting to talk to them, what I find out is that they have no real goal for themselves. They have no real plan of action. And when you have this kind of loose attitude about your health, you're never going to get healthy. We don't live in that type of climax. In order for you to help be healthy, you actually have to have the audacity to be healthy. You have to go out of your way to be healthy. So if you don't have a plan of action, you're never going to reach your goals. So what you need to do is you need to create a specific goal for yourself. You saying, well, I just want to be healthy. That's not good enough. If you want to lose weight, if that's healthy to you, or that's your goal, or if you want to be more flexible, that's a specific goal. If you want to, you know, eat more of a plant-based diet or detox, you have to have your specific goals, and then you need to create action steps in order to get there. So for example, if weight is an issue you want to lose weight so it's like okay I want to lose weight that's my ultimate goal I want to weigh 130 pounds and I want my body fat percentage to be less than 20 percent so those are specific intents of what you want and I want to reach these goals within the next six months so that's being very specific with your goals and now you have to create action steps so the action steps is I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to work with the personal trainer on Monday Wednesday and Friday on Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to work out on my own. And then I'm going to put together a specific nutritional protocol that I'm going to follow. And this is what that nutritional protocol is. Like you have to have the action steps to get you there. And then you have to be focused on following those action steps. And that's how you achieve health. But the loose, I just want to be healthy. Or I want to lose weight. But you don't have a, a specific action plan. You'll never get there. So and from a business perspective, I actually notice the same exact things. People will come to me and my wife about um, getting started with the business or a business idea that they have and trying to, to develop or just kind of troubleshooting with um, where they are in their business. And it doesn't matter if you have a, a brick and mortar business, a home based business, network marketing, internet marketing, the principles are the same. You have to have a goal for yourself. It doesn't matter if you have an incredible skill or talent or, or product um, all of that could be good but if you don't have a clear and focused goal then it's not going to be successful a lot of times I'll ask uh, people that are involved with business if they have a business plan and most people don't have a business plan uh, a lot of people associate business plans with getting some type of loan or funding or something like that but it really has nothing to do with that. I mean, you need a business plan when you get loans and funding because that shows a level of seriousness. That shows that you have vision and you have a goal and you have a plan of action. So they want to see, okay, where's your mind at and what are your goals? That's the reason why they want it. Um, so it doesn't have anything to do with that. You want to make sure that you have a business plan because what it is, is it's a business plan of action. If your goal is to make uh, $100,000 for the year or $500,000 for the year, you just can't say, oh, I want to be successful in business and I want to make a lot of money, you know, which is what a lot of people say. I have a product that's really good and I want to be successful with it. No, you have to have clear goals. If your goal is you want to move 10,000 units or you want to sell a specific amount of money or you want to reach a specific amount of people, you need to have that as your goal of success and then from there you need to draw out your action steps so for business it could be like well my goal is to make ten thousand dollars a month 
in order for me to get there it means that I need to see these amount of people every single day I, I need to invest this amount of money into my business every single month every single week you need to have a, de a detailed plan of action that you're going to follow and um, this applies with business it applies with health it just applies in life like you have to have a goal for whatever it is that you want to achieve and then you want to create action steps in order to get you to your specific goal and then you focus on your action steps your daily action steps and you carry those things out every single day and you can't be denied success so my question is um, to my health community as well as the business community do you have a plan of action do you have your business goals set out and in the plan for you to get to them if so let me know in the comment box below just post down if you have your plan of action with what it is that you want to do and if you don't i highly recommend that you think about that and you start writing it down all right until the next time peace and prosperity